Well, sadly, the Royal Adelaide Show is over, but this year I managed to spend a lot of time in the cookery pavilion being inspired by classic recipes, the ones that have been handed down generation after generation. And that's what I'm going to share with you today, a lovely vanilla raspberry biscuit that I inherited from my lovely mother-in-law. And the best thing about this recipe is that you're likely to have everything already in your pantry. We're going to begin by creaming the butter and the sugar. Now, I'm using unsalted butter and pure icing sugar. That's about 60 grams of pure icing sugar. And we need to cream the sugar until it's completely dissolved in the butter. Scrape down the bowl if you need to and just keep it going until it's light and fluffy and quite pale. Now we're going to add plain flour and custard powder that I've sifted three times and that makes it lovely and aerated and gives our biscuit a lovely fluffiness. You'll see the texture of this biscuit dough is quite dry and crumbly and that's because it hasn't got an egg in it. It's almost like a shortbread. Now we add a big generous teaspoon of vanilla paste and I think it's worth getting vanilla paste for this recipe because it'll be so much better. This amount of dough will make 20 which sandwiched together will naturally give you 10 biscuits. So make little balls like so and then with a fork just squish them down a little bit to give you that texture. Just like that. Keep going until you've used it all up. Preheat the oven to 160 degrees and they'll take about 16 minutes. The filling is a simple buttercream. We need softened butter and icing sugar, a dollop of vanilla bean paste and I like to put just two drops of rose colouring, but you don't have to. Whisk it all together and you just might need the tiniest little bit of milk. When our biscuits are completely cool, we can sandwich them together with some beautiful Beerenberg raspberry jam and our filling. You can download this recipe from our website and you'll also find more classic recipes in this month's magazine. Once you've sandwiched them all together, give them a light dusting of icing sugar. Now these may not win a blue ribbon at the show, but with a cup of tea, I can tell you they're utterly delicious.